Kinsley from the Ohio College Compact, and also Director Rosenfield from the League of Women Voters. Representative. So to echo what Senator Turner said, I believe that what the Republicans are doing here is likely unconstitutional. Um, as she well stated, in 1979, the U.S. Supreme Court held that discrimination against college students seeking to vote in their college communities is a violation of the 26th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. People have a fundamental right to vote where they reside. And for college students, uh, they spend nine or four months a year on their college campus. Uh, often they reside on their college campus. So uh, it's illegal to discriminate against them and burden their fundamental right to vote. What the Republicans are trying to do also makes no economic sense, as you've heard. They're so bent on stopping students from voting that they're willing to forego millions of dollars in out-of-state tuition in order to do so. Uh, do they have any sense of how much uh, lost revenue this will cost Ohio taxpayers or how much universities could be forced to raise in-state tuition in order to subsidize these voter suppression efforts? Uh, what they're doing is outrageous here and it makes no sense. Uh, suppressing student votes is also terrible public policy. We do not have a problem in this state with too few students voting. Uh, we have a problem, or I'm sorry, with too many students voting. We have a problem with too few students voting. And we don't want to send them this message that their voices aren't important and that they're not wanted here. And the Republicans are not helping students like they say. They say this amendment has nothing to do with voting. Well, then why is it about voting? Why does it even mention <coughs> voter ID? Don't be fooled uh, by those false statements. I also want to say that this is happening around the country. Uh, it's a move right out of the right-wing playbook uh, that's happening in state after state. Maine Republicans have tried to make it more difficult for students to vote, New Hampshire Republicans, Indiana Republicans, and most famously to date, uh, before Ohio stepped into the ring, was North Carolina. Uh, you know, this is like the ALEC model bill that we saw last General Assembly to uh, to adopt a photo ID provision, which would have uh, harmed student voters as well. And I just think that discouraging college students from voting on campus is shameful, and we need to do everything we can to get this uh, Republican amendment stripped from the Ohio operating budget.